people when they're getting started in any kind of photography, not just weddings, but wedding in particular, um, when they're getting started, they tend to ask questions about equipment. As you get more experienced, you realize equipment isn't that important. Um, there are a lot of different reasons why you would pick one brand of equipment over another. The, the major ones are Sony, Canon, and Nikon. Uh, there are plenty of other ones um, that, are, that are good. Why would you pick one of the major brands? Uh, number one, they're pretty good. But number two, you can get accessories for them. So the uh, flash connectors and things like that uh, tend to be more popular or tend to be more accessible. Um, you can get uh, a better selection of lenses. I happen to use Sony. Um, one of the things that you do is, is that there are smaller sensors that are cheaper and smaller um, and full frame. And, and um, I do recommend that you go to full frame partly because it just has a greater dynamic range. That means you have more detail in the shadows, that you can pull out more detail in the highlights. And when you're shooting weddings, you tend to be um, uh, working really quickly. You can get some dark shadows that you didn't really prepare for because you're not setting these things up like a product photo shoot or a, a portrait wedding shoot or a portrait shoot that uh, you, you may not be quite as careful. You don't have time to be as careful in some time. Somebody swoops out, grabs the bride, gives her a kiss, something like that. You wanna take that picture really quickly. And then in post-processing, full-frame cameras tend to give you more leeway and you can pull that detail out. So I do recommend full-frame cameras.